not he's not the monster that he used to be, man. I remember seeing, you know, Edward being this frag machine just would walk into a site and go crazy. But on that note, we are going live into the knife rounds, so well, let's have a look. Let's Our change first full over. game cast. So far I've done one round of <laughs> in my entire life. Oh. Whew. Let's do it. So uh my first uh somewhat attempt at play by play guys, so apologies for the cringe worthiness. But <laughs> Let's go. Control VP playing Motivate. Have you got the overlay up? Are we still yep. are we in game? No, nah, we're, we're in game. We're in game. So uh, you can can the overclaw. I forgot to do that just then. Yeah, I got, I got rid of him. <laughs> Get rid of the Uvu. Oh, looking like Motivate will actually take out the knife round. So. I'd be surprised to see if they want to stay on T side or go to CT. Mm. I think they'll probably go to CT, but it, definitely a possibility now with a lot of the... A lot of the meta switching over to a more T sided than it used to be, especially yeah. with the M4. CR with the M4 change. Yeah, definitely the the M4, the um the M4 nerf is definitely something that's affected a lot of team CT play. You know, the, having that M4A1S the way it was was just you yeah. could hold a site from anywhere across the map really as long as you had line of sight of the the, the bomb site you'd be okay. Definitely, <laughs> I'm a shit tier player, but definitely preferred the old M4A1 mm. than I do the new one. And yeah. I can't use A4 because I'm shit here, like I said. I love, I love, I actually love the A4. I just, I used the S because, you know, it was a laser. <laughs> it was a laser. Let's have a look how they're setting up here for the CT side. Three towards B, one in the mid, one in the A. Looking to do an aggressive B push here. Walking, though. Motivated are ready for this. Yeah. Definitely ready for this. I might be able to pick off two or three kills. Oh, wild, though. Going oh, crazy. God, wild. Three headshots. Picking up all the players massive. and pushing. That was huge. And you see Richie pushing in behind. Catching heavy on heaven. So, again, heavy just... Heaven. Yeah, oh. that play on words. But, yeah. <laughs> so, you've now got... Is it Star? I, I don't actually know. Five normally is... Star. 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 Sia. But Maybe. Sia. I, don't know. I don't know. Sia, actually. I think it is Sia. But... Yeah, left in a 1v5 and minimal, minimal damage onto has, the motivated players. He has one health left. They could throw <laughs> that decoy at him. He would die. WLD would pick up his fourth kill of the round after those three <laughs> massive headshots to begin with. That was they, crazy play. Oh, oh there, Richie. The smoke. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, motivate starting strong and, you know, as you said, electing to actually start on the T side. The more favoured side now with, you know, that meta change with the M4 and just the way the whole, you know, CSGO, the way CSGO is played, shifting to. But Only armor on three of the control players here. Mm. They've decided to go with a Deagle on CR, and only the USP on Soigood may be looking to pick up the AWP as early as possible. Yeah, definitely. It's There are a team that do favor the AWP, but CR just taking this fight with Wild, but Wild coming out top on that one. So again, A side is now... Somewhat left open. You have got two CT players at car making their way in for the rotate. But as you can see, bomb has not moved whatsoever. The T's are just playing across the map, spread out, just waiting for any sort of push to try and shut it down. So apparently, CEO is actually Jess. Burkill in chat telling me it's Jess upside down and backwards at the same time. Wow. Okay. That's, that's incredible. No worries then. Confuse the casters, please. <laughs> if you have any more inside tips, let us yeah. know. I'll have a look at chat while this is going on. <laughs> Three screen life. So, uh, yeah, while getting the bomb down there for Motivate, but the CTs are fully stacked towards A, expecting that push, but going to jump on board with Soygood as he, he's somewhat making his way up, but they elect him to save. I wouldn't be surprised if Soygood had a look around. As for the other three, saving their armor is mm. probably the best bet if they can get through the next round with the armor. Maybe you have a chance, especially with the five seven and the deagle there. Yeah, the de the deagle will be a, is a good you know is a very very good save. It's it's a powerful gun and you know it can turn rounds. Really, hitting that one B from anywhere on the map <laughs> if you've got the luck the luck god on your side. That is, <laughs> or if you can just aim. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's luck, mate. It's not aim. <laughs> yeah. I, it's proven from me. Nah. The luck ratio with the deagle. <laughs> did you max out your luck stat in character creation, or did you go for the brute strength yeah. like I did? I well, don't know. The Fallout 4 reference. There it is. <laughs> so, uh, secret uh, fanboy there. No worries. I'm also, you know, admittedly. <laughs> so, not actually buying anything at all on the CT side. So, they're just keeping the weapons they have from the previous round and the armor. 
So again, stacking heavy towards mid this time, and actually towards A. So B is completely open. If Jing decides to go for this lurk and actually walk into sight, I think he'll find it quite easy and call the rotate. But while picking up Oxy on that boost, that seems to be a very, very common position now. Yeah, don't ask Crit to play it though, he's terrible at it. <laughs> so, bro, picking up heavy in mid as well. Again, we see the CTs, sorry, the Ts have not even moved into middle, and there's already two CTs left. The Ts so. are playing a very slow style here. Mm. I wonder how that's going to work on the gun rounds, where the CTs are more inclined to, you know, be slow. Not that is take, true. Not push, find this information. Yeah, that was almost close there for bro, going down to 13 HP just with Jess playing on the edge of that smoke. Oh, I, think no. he comes, I think Richie's probably going to pick it so he got up here. Yeah, and he does. Easy shot. Finishing off the round. 3-0 to motivate. Who would have picked that? I definitely yeah. didn't pick that in my my analysis. Yeah, for, for now, I mean, for the start, it's definitely... Although it is eco rounds, you know, we would have thought um, Control being the more experienced team would have picked up that, that first pistol, but my god, wild with those three wild headshots. Just, just out of nowhere. <laughs> just quickly have a look at the scorecard. No, mm. one, not one player in control yeah. has a kill just yet. Wow. And Richie threw the smoke. That is incredible. I wonder if he saw him just before the smoke bloomed or he just took the lucky shot. Funny there was actually no smoke on my screen. <laughs> oh, well, there's definitely a smoke there. <laughs> Alrighty, the CSGO bug. To me, that just looked looked like Who a pink love mid. A TV? <laughs> so yeah, good good thing to point out. I mean, zero 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 across the board for control. They Are they a bit rusty? They look like they might be. There we go. NKZ, or Nyx, picks up the first kill. Headshot onto Richie in A-Main. Falls back through the smoke. Look like he might get Keno. Definitely does. Shoots him in the face as well. So again, Nyx doing a bit of work for the team. But we do see Wild actually going down to 4 HP from Jess playing underneath that boost area. So it's heavy to hold down the speed bomb site, And he does, does so by picking up Jeng. He is low over. And Bro will trade out, so this will give Motivate the chance to put the bomb down. It I'm is really looking for Bro here. I'm really looking for him to do something massive, just so I can say mm. his name in full. Bro! Bro! Come on, mate. <laughs> the do something massive. The Kiwi style. NKZ on the edge of that smoke is going to peek out there. We'll go down to Bro. Bro with a second. Oh, he's not going to... Oh, I... Bro, come on. <laughs> oh, Bro. <laughs> Losing to Jess there, just pushing in. If that is actually the name. <laughs> the, um, yeah, I see it as... Uh, yeah, I, I don't even know. That's just confusing. <laughs> so, Control Esports now with their first round on the board. And a bit of kills. You know, we still got Oxy on zero. But, yeah, there's only <laughs> two kills on NKZ and one on the rest. interested to see what motivate do now if they change the pace at all or whether they keep the slow pace but soy good picks up richie I'm not too sure where that kill happened it looks like it was actually on the b bomb side and oxy goes through mid picking up bro with the p90 again crazy push through smoke but it pays off bro just not expecting it looks like um team speaks dying if we happen to drop out, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alrighty. So, CT's in a... In an even split at the moment. They're not doing anything fancy. Mm. Just looking after all their bomb sites, looking after mid. Yeah, they don't seem to be moving heavy to anywhere. They just... I think they've now got the confidence to know that they can just out-aim these players. And NKZ will do so. Onto the head of Wild. Binking him and then managing to finish him off and dropping Kino as well. But being caught out with the knife peek. But so good from the truck with the AWP will finish it off. So thanks to our beautiful chat. Again, WLD pronounced Wield. Maybe apparently short for the word Wield. Wield we'll, okay. we'll try to keep it. We got Wield, we got Jess. Alrighty. Everyone's being, being silly against us. Thank you guys. And uh, let me guess, someone's going to tell me Jeng stands for something else as well. <laughs> the Jeng is actually silent for Sheng. Sheng, yeah, probably. And yeah, N NK NKZ will probably just mean it's Jacob. <laughs> yeah. <that's a> Jacob. <laughs> so uh, let's actually have a look. I'm going to just check his profile, see if I can see the full name there of what it actually is. Definitely. Kez Kesnick. I see Kesnick here. Nickers. Must be Nick then. Yeah, it's so, Nick. 
Yeah, so it's Nikkez, N-I-K-K-E-Z is what I can see, which is the name he's used consistently. Nikkez, all right then. Like his undies. Nikkez likes his undies. So, uh... It'll be interesting to see here if Motivate force up. They have enough for a few AKs, a couple of Tech 9s, but I would suggest just buying up. Maybe a couple of Mm. pistols, that'd be about it. Yeah, rather, you know, I would would rather take... Oh, actually, no, they do have a bit, of, a bit of economy to work with. I mean, you could see Wield actually dropping Tech 9s for the team, which I think has happened on oh, P250s. So, yeah, we will see an eco from them. I think they want to try and keep that AWP up as well. The soy good? Or keep an AWP uh, up no, no, for, on, the, ti- for the T side? For I the T side, yeah. So, yeah. T side want to keep the AWP up. That's the thing. This this map where, you know, Inferno is a map where AWP is not very... Fa- I find the AWP is not very favorable because when you're pushing... You know, you've got that one player that's got, a, you know, a gigantic rifle that he's got to lug around and try and get kills with where, you know, you can leave him in a position, but if you're taking in a sight and you're not too confident, you don't know how many they've stacked, it definitely helps. But again, on cash, it's, it definitely helps. You know, that A main peak with the AWP, if you can get the guy a quad or even that mid or B main, it, it can be played anywhere. It's just, you know, how, it depends how versatile your AWP is and how strong they are. Let's have a look at some chat while we have a wait here for Brew, mm. who's happened to time out. Apparently, oh, Nikki's hmm. was a 1.6 Lana. Yeah. Well, so... that's pretty impressive back in the day. Having yeah. A I, I wonder know- if he was any good. I noticed that he has 2,200 hours in, in CS 1.6 on his profile. Nice. So he's got a fair bit of, fair bit of hours racked up. <laughs> Definitely need to put those hours in if you want to play at this level. Mm-hmm. Or and... the level he wants to be playing at anyway, in the high, yeah. in the Div 1. Yeah, Looks definitely. like Bruce come in dead. They, um, if um, they might want me to jump in, maybe. I'll, um, I'll have a look. Okay, so Oxy says neither. So while that's happening, I'm just gonna put the music back on there. Oh, so. Looks like they've unpaused it already, so okay. not gonna worry about it. They look like they're oh, just gonna eco this round, so they're not gonna worry about it. That's good. Which is a good, good call. call. I like that. Yeah, just definitely. You know, uh, you point. I think you've pointed out that before as well, Morph. I've seen you in chat in, in rounds where you're like, well, look, your eco, just take take the loss of the one player, play the eco round out, and come back on a full yeah. buy. At the end of the day, it is just Blasted Cup. Mm. It's not like you're at some sort of $1,000 land. Yeah. Not winning a major. That one player <laughs> probably not going to save you to get save you the round anyway. Oh. Oh, Jeng, you got to move, mate. That um, fire is hot. Yeah, fire burns, everybody. I'm not too sure what Jeng or Jeng was was doing there, he... Oh, yeah, I don't know, you, it normally gives you an indicator when you are being burnt. Yeah, you can also tell by your health bar moving in the downward direction. <laughs> For some reason, my GoTV completely got stuck on Jess with oh. the P90. So, Bruce just switched teams. Um, I'm going to send a message over to um, Kino, who I have yep. on my friends list. Alrighty. <laughs> so, it looks like we've got that dreaded bug of... <laughs> Bruce actually on the CT. He's their sixth. So Apparently will... they've got it. I just sent him a message. Alrighty. They said they're all good. Okay, so are they going to double eco here? or? Well, at least Kino knows now. If they do have any issues, send me a message. We can get that sorted mm. out pretty quick. Yeah. Luckily, I had a chat with Brucey the other day. He agreed with me that stream should definitely be on time. We don't want to be waiting around for these pauses. Anyone know those ask the casters? Ask for Archon. <laughs> So, so um, just getting a bit of an update from Caps here as well, guys, saying, how's it going, man? We still got no power. So it does not look like we will get El- uh, Elim. Damn, <laughs> I saw the word Elim in chat. So it does not look, look like we will be getting Caps back tonight, everybody. So, uh, yeah, the, um, sadly, he's living in, uh, in what's it, Beldivis in Perth. So uh, you guys, I'll, I'll leave that up to you guys. Yeah, so he says it came on for a sec again and then went off. So. Currently, Bruce is coming in. Good old Brucey. Alrighty. <laughs> Bru- <laughs> when, when, you know, when all else fails, call Brucey or Extreme. Definitely. So, while we're waiting for him, I will get the music going. So, I definitely I agree definitely with getting the admin on this round rather than the eco round. If the eco round, throw it away. Yeah. Try to get a couple of picks. As for the gun round, a little bit more important. 
Yeah, you don't want to be playing 4v5 the entire game. Especially with the issue of him maybe even being switched over to the CTs again at the end of it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, and also now being tied up 3 for 3. Yeah, getting close. They definitely want to pick up a few more rounds here to motivate. Mm. Make their CT side a lot easier. Yeah, definitely. It seems to be that meta now, you know, the more rounds you have on T side now is favourable just due to that nerf of the M4. Yeah. I reckon and... this map's more of an 8-7 now. Maybe a 9-6 yeah. to the CT side. Definitely used to be a 10-5. I yeah. wouldn't say that anymore. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely right. It used to be that sort of, you know, halfway point in, in the round score, but not the case. But, alrighty. Hope he turned it off. <laughs> so, uh, Oxy just referring to the command that is actually used there to revive the, the player. Yep, the respawn command. So, we will soon find out if one of the players dies and miraculously comes back to life. We've got a deathmatch on our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Would love to see it. First to 100 kills wins the game. <laughs> Quake style. We Pez now. <laughs> yeah. Looking at a more of a 1-3-1 one, one split here from the CTs. As as I say that, one of the CT players is moving over to A to make it a 2-2-1. Two, two, yeah, we see... What's that, sorry? Off you go, mate. No, I was just going to say, we do. We, we have been seeing a lot of that, I must point out, where players ten, are tending to leave that B site with one player on it, but... You know, if teams pick up on that early, you're going to have to really start moving your players. But then it's like, you know, purpose two. But we see this crisscross smoke out in mid, and this always works well for a fake. But Oxy and Vent picks up two. Bro trading out onto Oxy. And, yeah, I mean, let's see. Jess with his P90 is going to be pushing through this smoke, looking for an early frag, but the players... Maybe H. <laughs> Uses a lot of bullets there to take out that one kill. That lucky, that flash came in. Or Jeng would have picked him up straight away. Oh, oh Jeng's Jeng. running out of bullets. No ammo. That looks so comfortable for Jeng there. Just one, two. Goes for the third. Controlling the recoil with no bullets coming out. <laughs> Funny always, to see. It's an, always an awkward situation when you have that happen mid-game. You spray down and it's like, oh, that's right. <laughs> there's, a, there's a thing that needs to go on the bottom of this thing. It's called a magazine. <laughs> so... We will see an eco from the T side now. Bit of a deco, actually. <laughs> Four deagles on the on the T side here. Wondering if they can make something happen. You know, still hasn't racked up a kill yet. Would love to see him get on the board. Someone actually We're... said that in chat that they would see Kino Cake in this. Oh, that's not very nice. Oh, Oxy with a great shot onto Bro, just just catching his head over the box there. He didn't realize how big his forehead is. Must be related to limits. Oh, oh, but Jeng catching Oxy just with the smaller forehead there. <laughs> <laughs> but Heavy H just picks up Jeng. We'll pick up Richie as well. You know, needs to help out Je um, uh, Wield. He was here. Yep, but, but sadly not going to happen. Yes, picks them both up with the AK, one to the face. Another buy round. Yeah, I mean. Control VP seem to just don't care for ecos, Morph. They do not care for the ecos. They're taking it straight to them. They're not waiting for them to get pushed. <laughs> so, yeah, just, you know, and c Control just, you know, the pistol round looked promising for Motivate, must admit, but seems to be the case. But Jeng with a spray through the door, just not not doing too much damage. Oh, I don't know. Jess took almost 50 damage there, where Oxy ah. took 24. Actually, yeah, I was, I was looking at Oxy, not Jess. So Jess? Oh! oh. Wield, what was Everyone, that? I want to see a Vax spam in chat because that one B through spike. <laughs> what is that? Please, Wield, teach me how to do that. That yeah, was you incredible. Just, that's just your toggle key, mate. <laughs> toggle key. Hold that F key down, but bro, <laughs> we'll find Oxy as he pushes that smoke. We have seen teams try that that smoke push and hold on that that red container in mid. It just never seems to work. But are they going to be ready for Jess? I don't think they are. Kino though trading he, out. Kino gets his first kill on the trade kill on the trade there. Yeah. Good effort. Just gets in a strong position here in the B main. So I've just jumped on board with Soy Good there, but Wield, I'm, I'm so wanting to say WLD, but yeah, Wield actually picking up Soy Good with a headshot there. But that one tap, that opening kill onto that B bomb site, it was massive. It really was. Just opened up the entire round for them. They gave him a opportunity to push after that slow mid control that they've seen be getting every round they wait in mid wait for something to happen and then capitalize just as happened on that one yeah i mean 
We'll see now. Can Richie make this orb work for him in mid? But looking like the CT is not wanting to give him much, so they will be going for a 2 1 2. But Richie picking up the head of his teammate. <laughs> Richie, that is your friend. <laughs> Unlucky on that Richie, one. Richie, you were you were at his wedding, mate. <laughs> wow, that was uh Oh, soy good is getting close for the AWP, but yeah, just this round just not working for motivate after that team kill. I looked it looked like that I uh, looked like Richie was actually going to hit the CT player through the wall. Yeah, that's what I and thought. And <laughs> all I saw was that bullet Traveling oh, through Bruce Bruce's head. <laughs> oh, oh Bruce. <laughs> I can only imagine Team Speak right yeah. now. Oh Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? So uh oh, yep. easy and around there to control, losing the one player. Yeah, definitely. Just making short work of it. I mean Richie actually helping the CTs out there with the team kill of his own. Poor Richie, mate. <laughs> you can't be what? doing that too much against a team like <laughs> control. Looking at the economy though, CT is somewhat okay for another buy. Um, although if Soygood does lose the AWP, he's going to struggle a little bit, um, having to force himself back down to a rifle. But T's again, they lose this, they will be going on to an eco. Nicky's soloing A site by himself again. With one one player in short giving him a little bit of a little bit of a hand. Standard split here from the CT side. Nothing special. They're not looking too aggressive this one. Mm. And I but, must point out that you do have, I think it's Oxy in vent, is it vent room? Yeah, so Oxy's actually in vent room. So good though, picking up the head of Wield as he goes over the boost. Wield, you can't shoot people through smoke when you're dead, so try <laughs> keep that in mind when you're <laughs> jumping over the boost. <laughs> I do dig that, that, that was, that shot was incredible. Gang here, pushing up, hey man, he's got a friend with him, he might be able to get a trade kill, two more going into the squeaky door. Looks like to be a B execute. Couple of smokes gone out. Counter flashes from the CTs. Yes, push, pushes through his smoke. Takes out one, takes out two. Gets the trade against him. Again, Brew 1v3 here. Would love to see it. Gets the one. So we good. Takes him out with the pistol. Decent round there for Motivate. Did a little bit of economy damage. But at the end of the day, motivate need rounds and not the damage that that round caused. Yeah, definitely. They, yeah, I mean, the CTs are very comfortable with the economy lead that they have got now. So they can afford to lose a weapon or two here and there. I mean, although now it's looking a little bit stretched. I mean, only soy good having 3,800. But yeah, the, C, the, the T side need to, they need to get into a site here and get an entry. I think they need to continue going towards B because soy good with this AWP in mid is just shutting them down. This round looks like a bit of a throwaway. They're all sitting in spawn, might be having a chat, using up, not trying to use one of those pauses. Having a chat, they've only bought the two P250s. Probably going to end up rushing a site. When it gets down to about 30 seconds, I'd say. Just having a chat right now. Yeah, cool. And I mean, this is something we don't normally see from a, a team that's played in CGA. So, so I could go, though, going for the wall bangs. But again, good discipline shown from the CT side here as well, Morph. They're not pushing out. They just patiently waiting for the play to be made and as you said it looks like they will be rushing towards the site now with 50 seconds left on the clock oxy's in a good position they might not check this then he'll let him onto site then he'll come around behind him pick off as many as he can with that one ak spray oh he hasn't picked he hasn't pushed around early enough et's get two yeah the t's the t's have actually managed to pick up two as you say so oxy though does pick up the head of Kino. And now Richie, so not looking too good, but Jess pushing in and you will see Jen go down on site. But nevertheless, picking up two on an eco, you know, does good for their pocket. They only spent uh, $600 there buying the two P250, so that's a good effort getting the bomb down. Mm. Definitely a reward for those two guns they picked up. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and, you know, as you say, the bomb going down, but also the two kills they managed to pick up. And I think one of them was with a clock. So. That's a fair bit of dosh. Definitely. Let's see if the Motivate team can get another couple of rounds before the end of the half. Three left, if they'll want all three of these, if they want a chance in the next round, or the next half, sorry. Yeah, I'm, one, I'm, I'm actually eager to see what kind of a CT side Motivate are going to pull out here. But great pop flash from Jeng, actually forcing Soigo to reposition himself, but in a position where 
you can't really come out on top against an AWPer that's as sharp as Soygood, so... Jing losing his life for that peak. Yeah, he's definitely not going to come out on top if he doesn't have his gun out as well. Yeah, I, I didn't actually pick that. <laughs> so, Brew though, picking up two, picking up Jess, but not actually ready for the third. Oh, great trade there by Kino and Richie. Yeah, this 3v1 is... 3v1 in their favour now. This is definitely... I mean, that's that turned so quick, Moth. Definitely did. And Nicky's here. He might not go for this. I don't know how good their money is. Let's have a quick look. No, he probably def definitely going to save here. Mm. Or he should. They're looking to be a little bit light. A couple of their players sitting on around 2k. If he saves this, he'll be able to drop next round. And they'll have a full buy. Oxy can buy the AWP. Yeah, Oxy... Maybe looking for an exit here. Yeah, I think that's all he'll do at this point. I mean, he has no time. He has got a kid over, but here comes the peak. So, picks up the one. And the second, almost picking up the third, but Kino managing to drop him, so... Nevertheless, he's picked up a bit of money. So, sitting on 4,400. All of the players will be able to buy. Um, I think we will see Oxy pick up... Oh, sorry, not Oxy. Uh, Soygood pick up the AWP there. Um, and... Yeah, I think it would have been good if um, Nicky sa saved that gun there. Would yeah. have given a bit more utility to all the players, especially the AWPer there, who only has the smoke. Soygood would have loved to would have loved to smoke another couple of flashes, maybe even the nade. Yeah, you're definitely right there. Util and that's the thing, utilities play such a big part in this game. It you know, it helps you get into the sites, it helps you just flush out enemies from, you know, unorthodox positions. But Jess with this aggressive push into mid, only managing to pick up one though. Wheel does trade out. So again, that that aggressive play from Jess. Has worked previously, but it seems like Motivate have somewhat adapted to it. It really seems like it plays into Motivate's hand, where they just they sit outside mid. They wait a couple. They wait for about thirty seconds in there at the start of every round. They want to see a push. Yeah. They set themselves up for some aggressive CT play. They saw it. They capitalized. They got that one for one trade, which favors this T side. They're going to look for some mid control here, and then probably go through vents as they got that player in B main. Yeah, and I think what they'll be doing now is they'll be getting the player in B main, which is Jeng. He'll be smoking off CT, but he'll be the player to they'll rely on a bit to get the entry pick. So he does take a bit of damage. Nicky's pushing through the smoke. Kano with a head great headshot onto Heavy H. Oxy coming through smoke as well. So Oxy actually picks up too, but sadly goes down to Jeng. The trade's going in the favor of the T's at this point. Soygood left in a 1v2 with an AWP. So gonna jump on board here and see how he breaks this one down. Decent crossfire set up here from the T's. But... Oh, Jeng. So good with a no-scope under Jeng, and I think he's going to... Oh, he flashes himself and goes to peek out. That was unlucky. Had he stuck that, I actually think he would have got that morph. Uh, I don't know. Wield was on his way. He was definitely had his bike shoes on. He was on his bike. He's <laughs> he's on, he's, he had his runners on. He definitely did. He that, wanted to get there as quick as he could. That Nike sponsorship doing wonders for them. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, 6-8 now to Motivate. So, oh, sorry, to Control Esports. Motivate going for a fast push out mid. Wheel not actually seeing the CT there, but... Oh, they actually managed to pick up Nikes. Sorry. There's one in the... One in the actually, smoke. it was the one in the smoke. It was Jess. I just caught him out the corner of my eye, but Jess not being able to capitalize with that deagle. Yeah, the Deagle's definitely not the weapon you want in that position. <laughs> I would have preferred maybe a 5.7, even yeah. a P250. P250 would have definitely been more more favourable for him. 5v1 here. Can Soygood make this work? He's <laughs> in checkers. Are they going to check it? Richie looks like he wants to. And he does. Oh, the one what a his great face. shot there from Richie. So, yeah, motivate. What's your take on, on that half morph? What do, you, what do you think? Do you think they'll be able to pull off something here in the CT side? Definitely a solid half. That's a lot better than what I thought they were going to pull out on the T side. Seven rounds is a good effort on Cache. Looks like Control... I still think they've got the advantage here. They look like a team that can just go in and win Angels. Mm. Yeah, you're definitely right. They can, you know, Control are... A, I'd say probably a, a good bunch of AIM stars to, you know, to compete with. Some of them not so good as others, but again, you know, looking at the Motivate side, they have proven that they do also have the ability to, to aim well. Motivate guys here. Two players with armor, one with a kit. A couple of nades, 5-7, CZ. Good little, good little uh, something or other. 
I don't know what the word I was looking for is. <laughs> so Nikes onto the header, bro, as he pushes truck, but Nikes is actually pushing the player at quad as well. Bit of an unorthodox method that they did there to actually secure the bomb site. But Nikes Will gets two. That's a good effort from the quad side, getting rushed from it both directions. So, a 2v3 now. Can Kino and Richie pull something off? Richie getting the head of Heavy H. Kino seems to be aware, but Kino cops a bink. Nice shot there by Nikki. Picks up two, gets the 4k on the pistol round, picks up the CZ for his troubles. Thank you very much. Actually, swapping out to the 5.7, a bit like something I'd do. I'd, yeah, I'm not favoured with the CZ, sadly. 5.7, <laughs> so, probably a little bit better on the anti-eco here, yeah. as the CTs may rush them. Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't think we'll see Motivate doing any sort of a rush strat. I think they'll just play heavy and try and play close angles with the pistols. I mean, they can aim very well, so yeah. It'll be, I'm, I'm eager to see, but as I say that though, we pushing have got Wheel door. pushing the squeaky door. Hits the bink onto Nicky's. Half lucky he had head armor there. <laughs> oh, oh Nicky's too Nicky's strong with that 5-7. Just a phenomenal aim there. 15 HP, manages to pick up the person that binked him, and then the person pushing for the trade. So, again, the trades are just coming out all over the place now, and... Very convincing take for them from control. Is that two four Ks from two rounds for Nikki's just there? I think so, yeah. Oh, both, uh, both with the pistol. Pistol god, Nikki. Yeah. So Nick has just that one point six pistol experience. So something does correlate over, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, last pistol round for the C T side. So let's see what they can do here. I mean, they are somewhat you know, they've got two USPs, a Deagle and two P250s, so if they can make something work here and pick up a couple of guns and manage to save them going into the next round, it'll be very favourable. I mean, that's something you don't see a lot of is, you know, it seems like, oh, it's buy round anyway next round. I mean, where you could drop that to a person that, you know, requires the utilities. So it's definitely a point to, to bear in mind. Definitely. They won't want to save those SMGs, but those two AKs there, they'll be licking their lips. They'll want them. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Jeng picking up the soy good, but Nikki is again just walking into sight, picking up Wield and Jeng. So you have the B players on the rotate now, but we've actually got the Lurk player in Oxy. Heavy H picking up the head of Bro now. Oxy in this Lurk position in the Z connector. Cops a bink from Kino though, mid air. Can Richie find Oxy here? Pick up another kill for himself. Let's hope. I mean, Oxy is low, so if you can at least take Oxy down, that's somewhat a bit of damage done. I mean, for, it will force them to, to AK by. These don't want him to survive. They, they definitely want that USP gone. <laughs> and it's gone, definitely. So, by round four motivate now. Let's see. Jeng has picked up the orc. Will Richie weird. pick up an AWP as well? We saw him AWP on T-side quite a bit. Yep, there and there you go. Double AWP set up. So, somewhat again, this this is, again, not somewhat of a favourable situation. The way I see it is, you know, in a retake scenario. You know, you're trying to push A-side and it's your two AWPers and a rifle left in a 3v5. You, you know, definitely want them to not get on the side if you got the two AWPs. Mm, yeah. You definitely got to stand your ground and, and fight it out as best you can. Mid control for the control side early in the round. They've just brute forced their way in. CTs have fallen off, giving it to them. Holding passive on the sites now, waiting for the push. Oh, bro, managing to catch Jess on the bricks in a main. So Jess just for some reason in a weird position and then being caught out as that smoke cleared up. Oh, oh nice shot by Jang. Jang with a double. second. Oh, Tries for the third, not able to, but does pull out the pistol and manage to pick up Heavy H. So, Jeng making short work of the B push with a quick 3k there. Although, he did get help from Kino. Nikki's in a good position here. Going to be behind the CTs very shortly. Might be able to get two or three. Nikki's picks up bro, but we've got Wheel that'll peek out from Heaven. So, yeah, not. I'm not too sure on the, on the choice. I mean, he did, you know, he had to kill bro. But missing the shot onto Richie, I think, 
yeah, that, that could have cost him a little bit. Had he managed to pick up those two, he, you know... Definitely winnable from there. Yeah, definitely. He, he definitely has a bit of, you know, room to play with. He's at 25 and 11 right now as Nicky's. Wow. Doing a good job. He's fragging heavy for his team right now. But, you know, not to take away from Motivate, I mean, you know, both their top players only have 13 frags. You know, and Definitely, then you, very you, even along the board. Keen are a little bit behind, but yeah. everyone looks like they're putting in work. Yeah, you know, and looking at the scoreline, it's, you know, the kills don't somewhat reflect that, that scoreline. If you look at the control team, though, only Nikki above 11. He's hitting mm. on 25, the rest of them together, only 11, 9, and 10 between them. Yeah, so Nikki definitely working as if he's two players at this point, really. A nice shot there by Kino. Jen gets picked off on the side, though. Troll will push in. So, 4v4 four four retake. Four v, as you say, 4v4 four retake, 4 motivate. All areas are smoked off. But, not too sure on that. Didn't look like it went deep enough there. Yeah. And Soigo just making short work of that smoke push, but Wheel ma managed to actually pick it two up, two of his own. But will he go for it? Gonna jump on board with him just to see if he does go for it here. Nah, it looks like no. he's gonna fall away. Doesn't have the quite doesn't quite have the time left. Whoa, a lot of economical damage done to control there. I mean, you know, taking four players down, leaving one left, and no warp as well. Yeah. It definitely looked like the one of the control, uh, motivate players just screwed up his smoke a little bit. Didn't quite go deep enough to to block off that player underneath the ledge. Whereas all it accomplished, just blocking off his players. They were running through smoke. They got mm. mowed down. Might have cost them the round. Yeah, I think I think to be honest with you, that to me looked like a type of a flash play. So I think what the goal there was was to flash because one of the players actually did turn. But as we say that though, some crazy fragging going on over at B. Heavy picking up too, but then getting traded out. But Jess not far behind with another two of his own. And then you've got Wield all the way over at A by himself. But he's actually got Oxy just floating around, wanting to... I think, yeah, Oxy's definitely going to want to drop this gun. Yeah, Wield will want to hold on to it. He won't move from his spot. He's in a very powerful position. He'll hear them coming. He'll jiggle around that box. He has as many kills as he needs to. Saying that, though, he peeks out. Oh, lucky to get that kill yeah, on Yeah, definitely. I mean, being dropped down to 50 HP. So he realizes now he's got to reposition and fast. They're hot on his heels. Oh, so good with the pre-fire, though. 13 to 8. Yeah, I mean, Motivate really need to... They need to work out where they're going wrong now and, and start putting a few more rounds on the board. Otherwise, control us. I'm not going to run away with this. Oh, I would have preferred they eco'd here. This is a late buy. They're going to be in rough positions. They don't have that AWP. Do they, do they give them 14 and then go for the full buy? Or do they fight for for the 14th round with the Famous? Yeah, I think Not sure. if they lose this round, I think we're going to see a GG, to be honest with you, Morph. Just, that's a risky, risky play right there. That force buy with the Famous, minimal utilities on all your players. Yeah, Definitely you... agree. They'll be on the eco next round if they lose this. Mm. And they're going a bit aggressive here in B main. Heavy H is waiting for them. Oxy's right with him. Pino gets the one, gets straight out B side open. T's going straight in. Yeah, again, you know, that's the type of caliber players control R. You know, they just, they play the basics of CS very, very effectively. And Bro, though, picking up a great headshot onto Jess. But Nick is onto, the, onto Bro. And then Wheel actually managing to pick up Soygood on the rotate. Richie collecting Oxy. So it's Nick is left. But Wield, 1 HP. He don't hit the molly. Don't touch that fire there, Wield. Oh, that Ooh. was close. That would have been very, very awkward had he died to that fire. <laughs> if time was a little bit closer too, he has that smoke. He could have dropped it on the fire if it mm. was a close. Yeah. Well done there for the uh, motorbike boys. Calling wow. it back with their teeth. Yeah, that was... That's one of those. They, uh, they definitely took control out of that round kicking and screaming. <laughs> they definitely want that round. <laughs> yeah, and look definitely at this. Did. Again, though, a poor bike coming out. This the is going to be very bike. hard, so... 
P90 I didn't realize we were watching Pro 90 Elites again. Yeah, I was going to say, but P90 Elites didn't even use P90s. That's what I was disappointed about. <laughs> there was one of them did, wasn't there? Yeah, it, it was... was um... A fur... Um, a fur... What's his name? Oh, I forgot his name now. We'll have to look it up, but... Nevertheless, Nick is picking up Bro as Heavy H going down to the P90. I think it was of Jeng, actually, pushing out aggressive. So... Wield or wild, as some people are saying. Oh, Nikki's with another pick. Richie, you're gonna pop out with that P90. Can he get anything? No, he can't. Oh, Jang. <laughs> with, he picks up a kill on to Oxy. <laughs> so, nevertheless, this round looking more towards the side of the T's, but there's about a player and a half's worth of health left across three people. So, if they can get these P90s in close. You know, yeah, Health-wise, it's very even. Yeah. As for the player capacity, I would say probably not. Mm. Definitely and not now go. after Jess picks up Wield. And Jen goes down to Jess as well. Yeah, that, that Jess name's confusing. <laughs> that confuses me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so Control on round 14. The... Do they for Salama? They do. Yep. Right with the pistol armor. Don't want to give away a match point. They're gonna. Yeah. They seem very eager to try and you know prevent the match point, but you know what? You know I do understand the pressure that you're then under once match point. You know that that reminder that pops up at the start of every round as you're clawing it back. But you know motivate somewhat. You know that risky buy with a famus. It did leave their economy crippled quite badly. I mean having a after winning the round having to still buy P90s following that. Oh, Kino gets tagged down. About half health here. Falls back onto B site. No one's chasing him. We'll get away safely. So again, we see Control just playing the slow play. You know, minute left on the clock. And now they decide to commit to a full execute. I'm actually going to switch to one of the players on A. So, Bro going down to Nikes. But Wheel picks up Soy Good. Just trading it out. Nick is picking up Richie as the rotator on car, so this is definitely not looking favourable now for the CTs whatsoever. Uh, definitely looks like we're going on to match point mm. for the controls, the control boys. Make sure Pino, if you're watching, though. make sure if you're watching, stick around after the game's finished. We'll be doing another Wheel of Skins giveaway. Take so, one for the night. Again, we see this from, let's see, what kind of a buy they're going to, yeah. I think this is going to be GG here. They've got absolutely no economy to work with whatsoever, so we will see a Deagle armor buy from just about everybody, bar Richie and Wield deciding for the 5.7s. Actually, I don't think they... Yeah, they don't even actually have the money for a Deagle. So... Big mid-stack here from the Motivate boys. They want... They want them to get... Oh, they're going to go for the run boost. Well done. Making it <laughs> over. So, Jeng just being, they, they're just being teased by that door now. Just, <laughs> Jess just holding the clothes on that door. So good, picking up Kino. B site completely open. Do control realize, will they push straight in? Yes, they will. B site, pretty much under control of control. Under control of control. <laughs> so, bad. Richie picking up the bomb carrier on So good, but. Nikias does trade on onto Bro, so Richie somewhat smoked off, oh, sorry, mollied off in the vent as well, so he's not able to get in there to help his team. But actually, looking at the team, there is only two of them left. So, Wield and Richie, and they go down simultaneously. Control VP, taking the match out 16 9. Great effort by Motivate, but yeah, just sadly, you know, mistakes costing them. Definitely. I, that was a lot better from Motivate than I thought it was going to be. They put up a great fight. Yeah. Didn't quite so. get there in the end. They had a pretty good <laughs> T side, their CT. Just couldn't withstand the brute force that the control side was putting up against them. Yeah, definitely. Control are, are very, very powerful aimers. So I'm just going to disappear for two seconds. I'm just going to put my light on. So uh, just realize that I'm sitting in the dark. So. <laughs>
Make sure we stick around and chat, guys. Like I said, Wheel of Skins before we close for tonight. No caps yep. here tonight. Five minutes before the stream start was meant to start. Caps disappears from TeamSpeak. Get a phone call. So-